Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new. My name is Sadie G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand. A question that I do get a lot, a lot, a lot is what is the best fabric to use for my t-shirt? So off the back of that, I thought, hmm, let me do a kind of sort of series, three part series, hopefully, fingers crossed, where I go into t-shirts, all things t-shirts. So in part one, which is this video, I'm going to be talking about the construction of a t-shirt and then in part two i'm going to be going through all the different kinds of t-shirt blanks that are on the market because i know when you're starting out you don't necessarily actually want to go down the manufacturing route maybe you want to start off with a blank t-shirt that you purchase from like a vendor and you print your design on it instead of you going out and shopping all these different brands i will try them all for you guys tell you about the spec tell you what i think and then you can make your decision based off of my video Video maybe I'll put links in the description and all of that kind of jazz and then in part three I'm actually gonna attempt to sew my very own t-shirt we'll try it and who knows maybe off the back of that I might actually bring people in and do like a little competition I don't know it's just an idea that I've been having in my mind just to make this channel a little bit more fun let's get into this video make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow on this three-part series So I suppose in this video, I'm gonna more talk about my kind of t-shirt, the kind of t-shirt that I like. And I go for a more luxury-esque t-shirt. I'm gonna be telling you what makes my t-shirt luxury, in my opinion, and the different things that I have thought about when producing my t-shirt, when speaking to my manufacturer about how I want my t-shirt to be produced. To make a t-shirt, you're either gonna be using cotton, polyester, or a blend of the two. Now I actually do have a full-on video where I go into what's better cotton or polyester and I do relate it back to a t-shirt so I'm gonna link that video up here you can give it a watch but personally when I am manufacturing my t-shirts I want to go for 100% cotton it's breathable it's a little bit more sustainable because it's not a man-made fiber it's a fiber that's grown although when you're ordering cotton the price of cotton can fluctuate and i won't lie that is something that i've actually experienced recently when i've gone to actually place my cotton fabric order and i get all my cotton here in the uk and it's woven in the uk however the price of cotton has actually gone up so it's not something that they just say happens cotton is a commodity so price are gonna fluctuate and I have experienced it firsthand when I'm producing my luxury t-shirts and even if you go and look at some of the luxury brands and it doesn't necessarily have to be like your Louis Vuitton even if you look at premium brands like maybe All Saints you will see that typically their t-shirts are also going to be made using 100% cotton now for the weight of my t-shirt if you're unaware weight of fabric is measured in GSM which stands for grams per square meter now when it comes to t-shirts you can either go for a lightweight t-shirt a medium weight t-shirt or a heavyweight t-shirt i don't know how far true this is but more time if you have a heavyweight t-shirt it's kind of linked to luxury like the weight of it the quality of it because when you get something and it's thin and flimsy that is usually linked with something not being so great in quality so i am always very very particular and specific when it comes to the weight of my t-shirts so all my t-shirts that i've ever done for my brand have always had a gsm of a wrap of of above 220 gsm with my most current t-shirt being <laughs> 300 gsm which is unbelievable and that wasn't actually out of choice that was because the place where i actually get my cotton fabric from have stopped producing the 250 gsm cotton that i was gonna go for and only produce a 300 gsm cotton because they said that the clients that order from them are only going for the 300 at the moment and it kind of resembles the t-shirt quality of some of the luxury market brands that are out there which kind of makes sense and i was more 
than happy to go for the 300 gsm cotton anyway but if you watched my try on video where i was trying on my italian samples those t-shirts were made out of 250 gsm cotton but i feel like if you want to go for a heavyweight t-shirt anything from 220 gsm is a great place to start but if you want to go for more or less the medium weight t-shirts i would say 150 to about 200 gsm is a good place to start when it comes to more of your medium weight t-shirts and if you want to go for more or less your lightweight t-shirt i would go for around 120 to 150 gsm when i create these videos these are my opinions and things that i've observed as i've been you know developing my own brand so these opinions are very honest but they are my own opinion they're not gospel or anything so construction of the actual t-shirt so when i'm talking t-shirts i'm talking about you know your regular like short sleeve t-shirt but when it comes to the construction there are two types of t-shirts that you can actually get you can get one that's called the raglan fit personally i am not a fan of these t-shirts i am more a fan of the set in sleeve or drop sleeve now the purpose of a raglan type t-shirt apparently i was actually doing some research they allow more movement of the arms apparently and also they actually take a little bit longer to construct and i was looking into the history of where the raglan t-shirt even came from and apparently it was something to do with somebody in a battle and they had lost their limb and they wanted something that was going to sit on their person on their body well despite them not having a limb apparently i don't know don't quote me but i thought that was an interesting little bit of history there but personally when i'm producing my t-shirts i go for a set in sleeve but if you do look at the fear of god essentials hoodies and crewnecks i know i'm going off on a tangent because we're meant to be talking about t-shirts here they do go for the raglan fit so moving even deeper into construction of the t-shirt again when i talk t-shirts i am just talking about the normal like crewneck t-shirts i'm not talking about v-necks because again i am not a fan of v-neck t-shirts at all i wear a v-neck t-shirt to the gym because it allows a bit more air in but typically you know so when it comes to a crew neck one interesting thing that i wouldn't have known if i wasn't in this industry is that you can use either the same fabric to make your crew neck or you can go for a ribbed fabric now personally i like a ribbed fabric because i don't know i feel like it just adds another sense of dimension to your t-shirt i love me a ribbed ribbed crew neck personally now stitches seams all that good stuff this stuff is kind of boring but it is important to go through it a little bit so here we have one of like our unreleased t-shirts it's got a little bit of my makeup there if you can see i don't know but you will see that this t-shirt actually has a ribbed collar as i was speaking about when it comes to stitching you will see that on the collar bit they use a double stitch so that means there'll be two rows of stitches going down there you can also use a double stitch when it comes to attaching the sleeve to the shoulder you can use a double stitch for this seam here but apparently the more double stitches that you use the more expensive it actually is to construct um the t-shirt personally if it's on a t-shirt i don't think it's that necessary on the bottom of the t-shirt that seam there that is a cover stitch so it does appear to be like the double row of stitching and also the stitch that is on the end of the sleeve again is going to be a cover stitch so it is going to appear to be two rows of stitching one other kind of stitch that i have been looking into and researching into is actually like a single stitch to finish and apparently if you go for that single stitch let me check the name as i was saying there is a stitch called the single stitch that is used to finish garments like t-shirts because apparently the double stitch is a stitch that was actually included a little bit later in like t-shirts and garment production but the single stitch you will see it mostly on like high-end vintage t-shirts and if today you use a single stitch apparently according to my research it kind of actually increases the value of your t-shirt because of that stitch like it's mad to think that changing a stitch on your garment can actually change the price of your garment i don't know that's just another bit of research that i done as well and i thought it would be nice to point it out to you guys so that pretty much covers everything when it 
comes to the humble t-shirt the most staple piece that's gonna probably be in your collection i just want to do a little recap so that everything is clear starting at the very top as mentioned i like to use 100 percent cotton the weight of my t-shirt i like to use anything from 220 gsm stitching for the majority of my stitching on my t-shirts i'm just gonna go for the simple stitch and again when i do my prinex i want to go for like a ribbed finish just to add that dimension and different texture to my t-shirt and last but by no means least when it actually comes to the overall construction and the fit of my t-shirt i like what we call a set in sleeve so that's the opposite to a raglan sleeve and the overall fit of my t-shirts are typically going to be you know your boxy oversized fit but as you know you can have your slim fit your tailor fit your ladies fit and all that kind of stuff but for my box standard t-shirts i just like that nice boxy oversized fit a little bit of a high neck nice thick crew neck collar all that good stuff so guys i really really hope that this video has been helpful please be sure to subscribe so that you can come back and see part two where i actually try on some t-shirt blanks for you guys and please don't forget to drop a like and drop a comment show your love and i will catch you guys in my very next video